What's happening guys? It's July 5th. Hope everyone had a phenomenal Independence Day. Today I'm going to be doing a test ride and demo on the 74 Honda CB550. The blue and gold, this bike from what I can see is all original other than the handlebars um, with the original componentry. Uh, no aftermarket switches, no uh, um, Chinese manufactured reproduction parts. This bike is just all around absolute stunner with 12k miles on it. Um, I kind of stumbled into this one, uh, not really looking for it, but a good friend of mine was was uh, is liquidating and, and uh, looking to buy a house. And you know, he said, "Can you probably have more of a reach to to uh, to find the right home for this guy?" So, oh, and also the bike has pod filters on it. And uh, Jeff Castian just got finished tuning it, tuning the bike, and I've been riding it all morning. Um, it runs absolutely beautifully, and let me show you that now. I'm gonna take a nice ride up to the tower. It's got a new battery, new spark plugs, carbs just been cleaned. I'll have to find the, the work order. Oh yeah, Jeff just rebuilt the forks as well. New fork seals and new fork oil. They are blown out, and that's something that you pretty much have to do with all of these classic bikes after a certain period. But guys, all the factory markings are on this bike. See these yellow marks, yellow paint from the factory? indicating that it's never been touched the bike's got 12k on it and it's unmolested really um pod filters on it aftermarket bars aside from that the bike is well if anything an absolute joy to ride she's already warmed up I hope the video does this bike justice. Disc in the front, drum in the rear. I'll tell you, but you can lock the rears right up if you'd like. 74 model, these are getting really hard to find, guys, in straight condition like this. But this one, this one gets the Ken Jr. seal of approval. The thing's turn key. Meaning, buy this bike, take it out on a Sunday, ride to your local show, ride, ride around town. The smaller bore bikes like to be revved out, but I'll tell you, there's nothing more beautiful than an inline floor with all the carburetors synced just perfectly. High speed, definitely cruise all day at highway speeds. These 70s inline fours, especially the Hondas, have kind of been the sweet spot, but a lot of guys are choosing if they want a if they want a vintage rider to ride on the weekends, because there's not well you know, they're, they're fairly ro uh, robust and basic engines. There's not a whole lot to go wrong. And they run forever. You get them tuned, and as long as you're draining the carbs and, and uh, not letting the, any bad fuel get to them, then put them on the battery tender over the winter time. Electrically, they're bulletproof, and the drivetrain is, is well, you know, it's a Honda. So. <laughs> I 
We'll see what Carl has to say about this one. What's up, Kimmy? <laughs> All the idiot lights work perfectly. Tack speedo, I mean. Turn signals. And this leaves little to be desired for 554. These are brand new split fire Bridgestone tires. They're not period correct as far as the tread but they fit the bike perfectly. They're the original chrome fenders. Also, the brakes are new. Other than the consumable, the consumables guys, the bike's pretty much bone stock. Where'd Carl go? Carl, what do you have to add? What do you have to add, Carl? I think it's the really the nicest looking 550 that I've seen for a long time. Um, I think it's two uh, or three of them here, but this is a, this one is just beautiful. I think it's the nicest we have in the museum at the moment right now. Oh, actually. definitely the nicest in the museum. Definitely. I mean, look at the chrome on this thing. There's not a speck. Well, maybe a tiny little bit on the. Okay, but look at the finish. The castings are in great shape. Okay, um, if we cut our detail guys loose on this, it will be better than showroom. Production. That's another thing, guys. The bike hasn't been detailed <laughs> in our position. In our possession, anyways, um, it really didn't need it. It's super clean, um, and everything works on it, uh, guys. Like I said, it leaves little to be des desired. Idles runs perfectly. Doesn't leak. No fuel leaks anywhere. Um, original air box is gone. It's opened up. It's it's. Uh, um, you know, and it's also been tuned by Jeff Casting, the manic mechanic over in Orange Mass. Um, Jeff, thanks a lot for hooking it up and uh, getting this thing dialed in for me. Um, I'm gonna ride it around for about a week, and if you're seeing this video, that means it's now being offered for sale. So uh, um, I don't have the resources to keep a bike this nice currently. Well, I do, but it comes down to dollars, guys, and uh, there's definitely an owner more deserving than myself. So. Good luck bidding, guys, and God bless America.